guys, it's Kylie, and in today's video, I have the Walt Disney World Attractions Bracket. This is the next bracket in my series of different Disney-related March Madness brackets as March Madness continues to go on. Um, this is the next one I have. This is all Walt Disney World attractions, and I'm like, super excited. This one has also 64 teams in it, so it's got the four sets of 16 teams. And I'm super excited to go through and see which one attractions I think should win the Disney World attraction bracket. If you enjoy Disney content, definitely hit the subscribe button. As you see, I have a series of Disney brackets coming up. But I also have a Disney World trip in just a short amount of time. And I will be posting tons of vlogs and other content from that trip. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you enjoy Disney and want to see what I have for adventures on my trip. Let's get started filling out this bracket. Okay, to start off, we have the Haunted Mansion versus the Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. I think I have to go with the Haunted Mansion. The Laugh Floor, I've only done a few times, um, but it's just, I prefer the ride of Haunted Mansion. I think it's an awesome song in it, like the Grim Grinning Ghosts. Um, I love that ride. I think it's a great ride and definitely one of the ones I try to get a Fast Pass for. So I think I'm going to have to go with Haunted Mansion. And again, I'm going to put these as acronyms just because it's easier to write. The next one is Journey into Imagination versus Dumbo. And for this one, I think I have to go with Journey into Imagination. Um, I've only recently gotten into this ride, but I think it's such a great ride. And definitely, I think the song in it and Figment is such a fun um, just character in general. So I'm going to go with um, Journey into Imagination over Dumbo, just because the up and down rides I'm just not as much of a fan of. Following that, we have Up Bird Adventure, or and Swiss Family Robinson. I think I'm gonna have to go with the Up Bird Adventures just for the characters that are in it. Um, I'm not a, really a huge fan of either one of these, but I think um, Up Bird Adventure is just something uh, a little bit more entertaining with the whole Up theme that they've added to it. The next one, this one's a hard one. So Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, awesome roller coaster, awesome ride in the Magic Kingdom. The Monorail. Most people don't really think of it as like a ride or anything, but who doesn't love going and riding around the monorail? Now on this one, I'm actually gonna have to pick the monorail over Seven Dwarfs, just because I love staying on the monorail resorts and I love going for a ride on the monorail. We had friends come and stay with us for a little bit and they didn't have park tickets and we literally just sat and took a ride on the monorail and went around. So I think I'm gonna have to go with the monorail. Following that, we have the Liberty Bell and Star Tours. Of course, Star Tours, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and that's definitely one of my favorite rides at Hollywood Studios. Then we got Slinky Dog Dash versus The Seas with Nemo and Friends. And even though I love The Seas, who doesn't love the new Slinky Dog Dash? So that's what I'm going to put. SDD. Um, following that, we have Onto the Sea with The Little Mermaid, Mermaid and The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. And I think I have to go with Winnie the Pooh. They're pretty similar rides, but just because of the characters in it, I'm going to go with Winnie the Pooh. And then finally, to finish up this part of the bracket, we have Flight of Passage versus Finding Nemo the Musical. And of course, Flight of Passage. Uh, awesome ride. I think it was a great addition. I call it like um, Soarin' on steroids is what it is. It's just... It's a similar idea of Storm that you're flying around, but there's just so much more to it. And the, like you're almost doing, feel like you're doing like flips and stuff. I really think that's an awesome ride. Now back to the top, we got Haunted Mansion and Journey into Imagination. Now, recently I've been into both of these rides, um, and I love them both. But I actually think I'm going to have to pick um, Journey into Imagination just for the character of Figment. I'm not as much into the characters of Haunted Mansion, but I think they're both great rides. And I actually know some, like the words to it, like even what the ca like cast members say on some of them, which is a little crazy, but that's, I think I'm going to have to go with Journey into the Imagination right now. Now on the next one, Up versus the Monorail, Monorail, um, the other one I'm not a huge fan of, so definitely the Monorail. The next one, Star Tours versus Slinky Dog Dash. This one's hard. I do love Slinky Dog. I think it's a great roller coaster and I also love Star Tours. Um, Star Tours has been around longer. And I do love the Star Wars movies, but the new Slinky Dog Dash is definitely an awesome ride. And I think I am going to have to go with Slinky Dog just because of how awesome a roller coaster it is. And I think it's a great addition to Hollywood Studios. Now, Winnie the Pooh versus Flight of Passage. 
Uh, even though I love Winnie the Pooh, Flight of Pass is going to win that easily. I think it's an awesome ride. And then back to the top, we got the monorail versus Journey into Imagination. I got to go with the monorail. And then Slinky Dog Dash versus Flight of Passage. I think I have to go with Slinky Dog. I love Flight of Passage and I love Slinky Dog. But I think just the um, theming of Slinky Dog, I know Toy Story better than I do Avatar. And I think that was a great addition to the Hollywood studio. So I think I'm going to go with that. Even though I don't feel like Avatar fits into Animal Kingdom as much. And now Slinky Dog versus the monorail. I have to go with Slinky Dog. I think it's a great roller coaster. Um, I've been able to ride it a bunch. We've been able to go right at opening for a couple days. So that was awesome. And I've gotten some fast passes for it. So I definitely have to go with that. Now for the next one. We have People Mover versus Alien Swirl and Saucer. Alien Swirl and Saucer made me really dizzy at the time I wrote it. So I'm definitely going to go with the People Mover. Then we have Mission Space versus Navi River Journey. Um, Navi River Journey. I can't do Mission Space. I It makes me sick. <laughs> Then we have tough, it's tough to be a bug in rock and roll roller coasters. So when I was little, I went on rock and roll roller coaster. I'm not a huge roller coaster person. I may have said this before. I can't do crazy, fast, all that roller coasters. I think I'm going to have to go with it's tough to be a bug just because I love that. I think I've gone on it a bunch and it's just fun. Some of the different things that they have on it. Um, so I think I'm going to have to go with it's tough to be a bug. Then we have Big Thunder Mountain versus Rafiki's Planet Watch. Um, Big Thunder is going to win for the, me, um, just because Rafiki's Planet Watch isn't actually a thing right now. They are coming back with a Lion King, um, it's more Lion King themed, um, and adding other things to that. But where it's not really a thing right now, I'm going to add do Big Thunder Mountain. Now, Navi versus the People Mover. I'm going to pick the People Mover. I just think Navi is a fine boat ride. But there's not a lot to it. You have to, it's just like some small, like, it's pretty, but I don't think there's a lot to it. I prefer the people mover. And then it's tough to be a bug versus Big Thunder Mountain. I'm going to go with Big Thunder Mountain. And, um, the people mover is going to win that. Sorry I didn't do these ones first. Um, and then down here we have Everest versus the Tomorrowland Speedway. I'm going to have to go with Everest. I'm not a huge fan of the ride, but over the Tomorrowland Speedway, definitely. Uh, and then we have Indiana Jones Epic Sp Stunt Spectacular versus Test Track. Test Track is one of my favorite rides, so that's going to win that. Grand Fiesta Tour versus Country Bear Jamboree. Now, this people might not agree with this, but I like the Grand Fiesta Tour. I think it's a great break in Epcot if you're just walking around the countries versus some all the other countries have shows. I like the ride. Um, I think it's cute. Uh, just the music and the theming. I think it's very cool. And then Space Mountain versus Astro Orbiter. I'm going to have to go with Space Mountain. Uh, and then we're going to have Test Track versus Everest. Test Track, it's my favorite ride. Um, and then I'll have Space Mountain win this one. And then Test Track, like I said before, is my favorite ride, so it's going to win this one. And Test Track. I will say there's some rides that will put Test Track, um, depending on what it comes up to. But my guess is Test Track is going to do pretty well in this. I mean, you see it already does. It's one of my favorite rides. Now, up here, we have... Starting at the top, Pirates of the Caribbean versus Tricer Top Spin, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, Kilimanjaro Safaris versus Cali River Rapids. I have to go with Kilimanjaro Safari just because you don't get soaking wet. I love Cali River Rapids, but I can't do getting soaking wet all day. The Barnstormer versus Peter Pan's Flight. I'm going to go with the Barnstormer just because... I grew up on it, and I was able to ride it with Goofy when I was little, so it kind of has a special memory for me. Then we have the Carousel of Progress versus It's a Small World, and I'm going to go with Carousel of Progress because I cannot listen to the It's a Small World song. Soren versus the Magic Carpets of Aladdin. I'm going with Soren. Festival of the Lion King versus Muppet Vision 3D. I'm going with Lion King. Frozen Ever After versus Turtle Truck with Crush. Frozen Ever After. Tower Terror versus the Royal Carousel. Tower Terror. Now, back to the top, we have Pirates of the Caribbean versus the Safari. I'm going to have to go with Kilimanjaro Safaris. And then we have Barnstormer versus Carousel of Progress. Definitely Carousel of Progress. Then we have Soren versus Festival of the Lion King, and we're going to go with Soren. And Frozen Ever After versus Tower of Terror. This, people might disagree with this, but I'm going to go with Frozen. I don't like Tower of Terror. I don't like sudden drop things. The big rides at Disney isn't what I go for. I go for, like, the pin trading and other stuff and the smaller rides. Um, that's why I like Disney so much and I'm not a Universal fan. Um, so that's why I'm picking Frozen. Then I'm going to pick Soren to win this one. 
And for Kilimanjaro Safaris, it's Castle of Progress. I think I'm going to have to pick Kilimanjaro Safaris because it always keeps you on your feet and you never know what's going to happen. And then finally, I'm going to pick Soren. You may see a theme that two of these are from Epcot. Epcot is one of my favorite parks, and I definitely love the rides there. And everything to do there. So Splash Mountain versus Primeval World. Splash Mountain. Living with the Land versus Philhar Ma Mickey's Philhar Magic. I have to go with Living with the Land. I just think it's kind of cool to just, like sit around and relax. And they just explain everything. Especially during the festivals when you can see like where the food that you're eating is coming from. I think that's super cool. Dinosaur versus Enchanted Tales with Belle. Dinosaur. Midway Mania versus Stitch's Great Escape. Midway Mania all the way. I love that ride. So I think it hurts my arm to do it multiple times in a row, but I love that ride. Um, then we have Jungle Cruise versus American Adventure. Jungle Cruise. And then we have Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin versus the Walt Disney World Railroad. Buzz Lightyear. Another one. Tip on Buzz Lightyear. Hold your thumb down because every, t I think it's five or ten misses, you get a hundred points. Don't keep clicking the button, just hold it down. Um, Enchanted Tiki Room versus the Hall of Presidents. I think I have to go with the Enchanted Tiki Room. The birds are funner than the, um, Presidents. And then Spaceship Earth versus Mad Tea Party. Spaceship Earth. Now, Enchanted Tiki Room versus Spaceship Earth. I have to go with Spaceship Earth. Um, Jungle Cruise versus Buzz Lightyear. I'm going to go with Buzz. We have Midway Mania versus Dinosaur. I'm going to go with Midway Mania. And then we have Small Splash Mountain versus Living with the Land. Splash Mountain. Now, Buzz Lightyear versus Spaceship Earth. I think I have to go with Buzz just because I've been a Galactic Hero before. And then Splash Mountain versus Midway Mania. I think I'm going to go with Splash. Now we got two of Ma Magic Kingdom Park um, rides. And I think I am going to have to go with Splash. It's just a classic attraction and I love that ride. Now up here we got Soren versus Splash Mountain. I love them both. I do like the new Soren. I also love the old Soren. Splash Mountain. I love it. I love Disneyland's too. I definitely like Disney World's more where it's like longer. Um, and I think I'm going to have to go with Soren though. Just because you don't get soaking wet. And it's hard to spend a day in Disney soaking wet. Unless it's really hot out. Um, so I'm going to go with Soren. And then Slinky Dog versus Test Track. I said this before. Test Track is one of my favorite rides. I did actually like the older test track better than the new test track, but I have to go with test track. Now this is putting my two favorite Epcot rides against each other. We got test track and we got Soarin'. I think they're both great rides. I love Soarin', I love flying up over. Um, I think it's an awesome ride. However, I also think test track's an awesome ride and I like, as I said before, test track is my favorite ride in the parks. Um, I just think the energy rush you get, and I even know the, like the twists and turns of Test Track, everything we're gonna do, I move with it. So, my favorite attraction at Walt Disney World is Test Track. And you might have heard this before that me say that, but Test Track is my favorite attraction, so that's what I'm gonna pick. If you guys enjoyed this video and wanna check out some of my other rackets, um, I'll have a playlist linked at the end. If you enjoyed this and wanna hit the subscribe button and wanna see more Disney content, definitely do that. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, and I will see you guys later. Bye!